Okay, so talking today about three different subjects that all kind of tie into each other. Um, so I don't really have a lot of how to's right now. It's winter time, and I'm not in Michigan. I'm in Houston, Texas right now. Um, and then I'll be going. We'll, we'll not worry about that right now. We're taking it a day at a time. But uh, something's come to my attention, and I were you know, it's not even coming to my attention. It's something I've been like dealing with on a personal level for a while, and uh, I know a lot of parents have been dealing with. So the three different topics I want to talk about is childcare, school, um, since COVID, and um, employment. Right. So school. We're gonna start with school, and then we're gonna move forward. School is unreliable. Now I don't know if you're a parent or not, um, but school is very, very much unreliable, and uh, they will stop school for days and weeks at a time due to COVID positive tests or um, other things like lack of teachers. Um, so we have a situation where children are get sent home from school um, on the school's behalf where it's like district wide. It's not just one or two children, but the entire district is not going into school. So they're for that leaves parents, right, with the need of child care. Because what is school that glorified child care? Mm -hmm. Because we didn't need schools when we had two parent, majority two parent households, and uh, one was able to work, one was able to stay home. Like, there were really schools weren't as mandatory a um, hundred years ago as they are now. Since we had like expanded capitalism, um, you basically have to schedule everything in your life around your kids' school. In most cases, um, so not only did we make it a necess necessity for us to have to work these jobs. We are expanding our inflation far more than we should. Our inflation has grown way higher. It's like it's out of fucking control. Like, and then we're still getting the pay the same we were 20 years ago. Like, and that ain't even much more than what they were getting paid 50 years ago. So we're not paying people enough to support themselves much less pay for child care when school is no longer available. A. Child care is ridiculously expensive. I understand people deserve to be paid for their time. But. Why do I need to pay to take care of a child because I am in a system that is set to force me to have to stay away from my child in the first place. Because I have to get a job, because I have to pay these bills, um, because, or, and, and not that I'm against paying bills, I just, I want to explain like the setup. So we have to get a job to work, to pay bills, to be able to go to work, to be able to take care of our kids. And it becomes a cycle, and it's definitely a hamster wheel, whether you want to admit it to yourself or not. It is indentured servitude at its finest. The majority of Americans or people here do not make enough money to both work, pay child support, or not child support, child um, care, and, um, and like house themselves, feed themselves, and live comfortably. Like, are we set to be able to struggle? Like, the majority of poor America, even middle class struggles because they can't get assistance. So they're struggling. So like we have set up a system to where the majority of our people are constantly struggling. Right? Two. Employment. 
or three, I guess, would be employment because we did child care. So three is employment. Now, with COVID, the way it is with things now, like a lot of places don't even have lobbies open, restaurants and whatnot. Like, um, and it's it's becoming what I feel like I feel like it's becoming in more of a employees market than an employers market because people are starting to realize their worth. You are worth more than seven dollars an hour. You are worth more than ten or fifteen dollars an hour. Fifteen dollars an hour is pretty fucking bare minimum. Like gig workers, most gig workers average twenty or thirty dollars an hour. You know people who are certified electricians that are making like thirty dollars an hour. $30 an hour is not that much. Not in today's society. It's not. And um, so we're coming to this crossroads where we either have to start paying people more or we have to check the fucking greed. And I think checking the greed is really the best solution. You know, like... Also, stop relying so much on outside things. Start producing more inside of your own system, whatever your, your own household, you know, grow more of your own food, get some chickens, do some of these things, have a garden. Like if you plant your favorite fruits and vegetables and you plant a couple of those every year, you're going to have most of that for most of the year. Like, and you'll be able to feed yourself and supplement a lot of that. Get a few chickens. I mean, you can grow... 60 chickens in 60 days. You know, it, it only takes 60 days to grow chicken that is big enough to harvest for food. Like, you don't have to keep it that long. You harvest it and you throw it in the fridge. And you can do that all year long. Like, there's smaller things that we can do. And then we have all of these laws, supposed laws, set into place that tell us that we can't have this, we can't have that. Who's saying this, that, though? Like, stop joining the communities that tell you you can't do it. Or change the rules. Like, we need to become less dependent upon certain things so that we have the ability to become more stable and more sufficient like there's no reason why the average person can't grow some food even if you're I have I have grown tomato plants and pepper plants and all different types of plants you know and there's some stuff that you I haven't grown in an apartment setting like I don't think I ever grew cucumbers in an apartment setting but I also live in the desert so the brick would just eat them alive but you have to start somewhere and we're not eating properly, so that does not help. Like the majority of us don't eat mostly fruits and vegetables. The majority of us eat everything else on the aisles, in the boxes, and in the bags, and in the cans, and, and whatnot. So, stop eating this shit. Like, and that's not really the point. The point is... But either way, I think eating healthier is always a good point. Yes, I'm smoking a cigarette. We all have bad habits. Nobody's fucking perfect. You know, I'm very much working on quitting. Fortunately, I ended up starting at a very young age. And so it's a severe hat addiction at this point. I'm working on it. We all have our things that we're working on. Pretty sure you have something you're working on. But the point being... We've set up the system. So now we also have people saying that there's no jobs. Nobody wants to work. It's not that nobody wants to work. So the majority of the workforce are parents. And parents don't have a reliable way to make sure that their children are safe and secure while they're at work. Because schools are unreliable and shut down regularly across the board. I've seen several parents in several states. I know people all over the country. And they have the same issues with school shutting down for a week or more at a time because somebody tested positive for COVID. Like, how is that going to affect your job when you have a child that is too young to stay at home by themselves and you don't have daycare because school is what you, your kid goes to school and those are the hours that you work. 
Like, we're not taking these things into account, and I really think this is something that should be taken into account. It should be. So, realize that it's not, this is not the way things are supposed to be in life. We're not supposed to be struggling like this. Stand up and say something. If the shot or the vaccine worked, we wouldn't have to keep getting them like this. Stop. Just blindly following. You know, uh, I got a lot of vaccines when I was a child from childhood diseases. Guess what? I did not get those childhood diseases. Never got polio or measles. So you got a vaccine for it. A vaccine. You, you. We should not be stopping our lives. Like, this is completely disrupting us. They are trying to break us down so that they can control us. Do not allow yourself to be controlled. Realize it's all tactics. I love you. And know you can grow. Truth.